Hi students, welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I am Sunil Mirwani and today we will be doing this chapter called as logs. Now first of all, what do you understand by logarithm? Suppose if I have 3 square is equal to 9. Logarithm is a different way of writing indices. If 3 square is 9, then I can say log 9 to the base 3 is 2. What is logarithm? It is just a different way of writing indices. When you have a number raised to a particular power, if I have to write that in a different manner, that is what is log. So, from here, you we'll write the rules here. If a raised to m is equal to n, then log n to the base a is equal to m. That's called as the first principle of log. Okay? Let's see this. Let's see a couple of sums based on this. Express in log form. I have 5 to the power of 4 is 625. Right? How do we do this? If I use the first principle, I just showed you the first principle, right? If I use the first principle, if I have to write this in terms of log, this will be log 625 to the base 5 is equal to 4. The answer to the base is the index. One more sum. Suppose if I had 0 0.2 base to 4 is 0 0.00. .00 one six. How do I express this in terms of log? Log 0 0.0016 to the base 0 0.2 is 4. Next. Suppose if I have 10 to the power of minus 3 is 0 0.001. So I can say log 0 0.001 to the base 10 is minus 3. I am using the first principle, right? The first principle that I just showed you, right? Suppose if I have 81 raised to 3 by 4 is 27. Then I can say log 27 to the base 81 is 3 by 4. Next, 1 upon 625 raised to minus 1 by 4 is 5. How do I write this in log format? Log of 5 to the base 1 upon 625 is minus 1 by 4. This is how you express indices in log form. Let's do the reverse of this. Express in exponential form. How do I express this uh, in exponential form? Suppose if I have log of 0 0.125 to the base 8 is minus 1. If I have to express this in exponential form, this number which is to the base goes on the right hand side and the number which is on the right hand side goes in the index. Meaning, this will be 0 0.125 is 8 raised to minus 1. This is how I express this in exponential form, right? Next, if I have log of 81 to the base 3 root 3 is equal to 8 upon 3, then I can say that 81 is 3 root 3 raised to 8 by 3, right? Next, suppose if I have log of 0 0.01 to the base 10 is minus 2 then I can say 0 0.01 is 10 raised to minus 2 next if I have log 1 upon 18 to the base 3 root 2 is equal to minus 2 then I can say 1 upon 18 is 3 root 2 raised to minus 2. Next, 
if I have log of 1 upon 5 to the base 5 is minus 1, then I can say 1 upon 5 is 5 raised to minus 1. This is how you convert from log to exponential form. Next, find the value of x. Let's see this. If they give you log 49 to the base x is 4. Log 49 to the base x is 4. If I express this in exponential form, if I express this in exponential form, I will get 49 is nothing but x raised to 4. Right? But what is 49? 49 can be written as 7 square is x raised to 4. Right? 7 can be written as root 7, the whole square raised to 2 is x raised to 4. Therefore, I can say that root 7, the whole raised to 4 is x raised to 4. Since the indices are same, therefore I can equate the bases. Hence, I can say that x is equal to root 7. Fine, do we get this thing here? Next, log of 243 to the base 9 is equal to x. Right? In which case, I can therefore say that 243 is nothing but 9 raised to x. 243 can be written as 3 raised to 3 3 is 9, 9 3 is 27, 27 3 is 81, 81 3 is 243, 3 raised to 5. 9 can be written as 3 square is equal to x. Right? So in which case I can say that 3 raised to 5 is 3 raised to 2x by law of indices. So hence I can say that 5 is equal to 2x. Therefore x is equal to 5 upon 2. Next, let's see the next one. Um, suppose if I have log x minus 7 to the base 5 is 1. Right? Now this can be written as this can be written as x minus 7 is 5 raised to 1. If I express this in exponential form, so x is 7 plus 5, x is equal to 12. Right? Next, suppose if I have another sum like this, if I have say log of 1 upon 127, sorry, log of 1 upon 27 to the base x is minus 3. So I can therefore say in exponential form 1 upon 27 is x raised to minus 3. 1 upon 27 is 3 cube is x raised to minus 3. When I bring from denominator to numerator the sign of the indice changes. So I get 3 raised to minus 3 is x raised to minus 3. Hence I can say x is 3. Next, log of 2x square minus 1 to the base 7 is equal to 2. Therefore, I can say that 2x square minus 1 is 7 square by using indices. Therefore, I can say that 2x square is equal to 49 plus 1, 7 square is 49. 2x square is 50 x square is 25, x is equal to plus minus 5, right? Next, let's see the next sum. Next. Let's see another sum. Log of x square minus 4 to the base 2 is equal to 5. Therefore, I can say x square minus 4 is 2 to the, 2 to the power of 5 x squared, 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 2 to the 16, 2 to the 32, 32 plus 4, x squared is 36, x is plus minus 6, 5, last thing, 
just let's have a look at this quickly. I can say that find the value of log of 16 to the base 1 by 4. You do it exactly, you do it exactly like the previous sum, you will say let log of 16 to the base 1 by 4 be equal to x. Therefore, I can say 16 is 1 by 4 raised to x. 16 is 4 square. There is nothing but 4 raised to minus 1 raised to x. 4 square is 4 raised to minus x. 2 is minus x. Therefore, x is minus 2. Right? We will stop here for the day. Thank you very much.